CBS 46 News at 6.30, getting results. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us at 6.30. I'm Mike Dunstan and I'm Alicia Roberts. Good to be with you on this Sunday night. We want to get to the latest on the coronavirus outbreak, including the latest numbers from the Georgia Department of Health. Right now, there are now more than 2,651 confirmed cases and 80 deaths in our state. Also tonight, more than 600 people are being treated in Georgia hospitals. Fulton County has the most cases, 407. DeKalb follows with nearly 300 confirmed cases. That number continuing to go up throughout the day. Meanwhile, the city of Forest Park in Clayton County has issued a stay at home order. It goes into effect tomorrow. And new tonight, President Trump declaring a major disaster in our state, ordering federal assistance to help state and local recovery efforts because of the virus. This means federal dollars will be available to eligible local governments, also certain private nonprofit organizations, and will include direct federal help. In the U.S., more than 135,000 Americans have been diagnosed with the coronavirus. More than 2,300 have already died tonight. At least 215 million Americans are under some sort of shelter in place order. And right now, New York and New Jersey have the most cases. And for that reason, the CDC has issued a travel advisory for residents of New York, New Jersey, as well as Connecticut. The urge tonight to refrain from any non-essential domestic travel for at least two weeks. The reason for that is that you don't want to get to the point where you're being enforcing things that would create a, a, a big of difficulty, morale and otherwise, when you could probably accomplish the same goal. Dr. Anthony Fauci there in the White House task force also receiving proposed guidelines to relax social distancing in some areas. Now, it's particularly for the middle part of our country where so far the infection rates there are lower.